addictions are a serious business. They can be painful, long-lasting life events that affect not only those injured, but their friends, family, and co-workers. Picture this, a pan with bacon frying. Liquid asphalt can heat to similar temperatures, upwards of 350 degrees, and when asphalt comes in contact with your skin, it will not come off. The material continues to cook the victim's flesh. It is best to avoid asphalt burns at all costs. Where safety controls have been built in, make full use of them. Wearing personal protection equipment or PPE at all times can be a lifesaver. Following your company or organization's safety rules and procedures is an important preventative step. But accidents do happen, however. And when all else fails, knowing the correct first aid is extremely important. If you or a coworker experience an asphalt burn, it is important to keep it cool. In the event of an asphalt burn in the workplace, follow these steps. Notify others. Call for help. Immediately address any airway, breathing, or circulation concerns. Start cooling. Quickly place the affected area under running, flowing water. Do not remove asphalt from the skin. Leave the burn uncovered. Medical experts advise that immediate cooling is the best treatment. Because the hot asphalt continues to burn and do continual damage to the skin, it is important to cool the burn until you get the temperature down to room temperature. This cooling process can take as long as 15 to 20 minutes. Spills in the asphalt lab can be particularly dangerous. Inattention and failure to use proper PPE can easily result in an asphalt burn. In this scenario, one lab worker is distracted by her phone and the other failed to wear his lab coat while transporting hot liquid asphalt in an open container. It is important to know where the nearest source of water is and to help the victim get to the water source immediately. You must cool the burn for an extended amount of time with the water. Emergency personnel may assist in cooling if the patient is not in shock or if no other physical symptoms take importance over the burn. It is vital to inform EMS professionals about your company's asphalt burn procedures as they arrive. Exercising caution at all times is important. This employee failed to notice that there was a small amount of moisture in the can before he collected a hot asphalt sample. This mistake can easily result in an asphalt splash. In some situations, running water is not available immediately, and there may not be a coworker present to assist in the treatment. In those cases, make sure you call for help and use whatever cooling source you can find. Plan ahead and make sure you have enough portable water on the job for first aid. Cool water from a water cooler or even bottled water poured on a burn can be beneficial while waiting for help to arrive. When workers are out in the field, you're even less likely to find sources of running water. If a burn occurs, look for an ice cooler and utilize it for cooling the burn. Commercial cold packs can also be stored in trucks and aid in cooling the temperature of the burn. Asphalt burns to the eyes are some of the most serious possible injuries. When possible, lay the person on their back. Flush with running water for at least 20 minutes by allowing the water to flow over the bridge of the nose to the eyes. If an eye wash station is available, direct the victim to the eye wash station. You may have to help the victim by physically holding their eyelids open so the water can cool the burn. Urgent medical attention is required for burns to the face and eyes. Using face shields, safety glasses, and protective goggles can help prevent burns when these accidents occur. Often, an asphalt burn victim will be disoriented or in shock and be reluctant to any first aid attempts. It may be necessary to physically force the victim to the nearest water source. Solicit help from other co-workers if necessary, but cooling those burns can greatly decrease the severity of the burns. Wearing the proper PPE can prevent or greatly lessen the severity of an asphalt burn. Burns result from accidents on the job, and we rarely see them coming. 
Simple tasks we perform every day can sometimes put us in serious danger when one element varies. Connecting hoses to trucks or collecting a sample are tasks we often do several times a day. But being prepared for an asphalt burn and knowing where the nearest source of water is can be critically important for our safety and the safety of our co-workers. Unfortunately, asphalt burns may still occur. But if they do, remember to keep it cool and quickly place the affected areas under cool water. Always know your nearest source of water. Cool the burn to room temperature, whether it is under a faucet, a shower, a hose, an eye wash, or another water source. Make certain you cool that burn until help arrives.